Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to automate and control multiple appliances using an Arduino and a contactor. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, Duct Tech Mechanic, for more DIY and tinkering videos. For this project, we'll be using an HVAC contactor. Um, I like to keep this contactor on hand as I like to do my own HVAC repairs. Um, anyways, um, the principle of how this works is relatively simple and that a contactor is essentially just a, a relay that can handle high amounts of current. Uh, this contactor is a two pole contactor and each pole is rated at 40 amps of current. So basically we have a 24 volt coil that when it's energized, 24 volts AC I should say, that when it's energized it pulls in these terminals and they come into contact with each other creating continuity between them and uh, that's essentially how it works okay uh, before we get into using this uh, contactor with an Arduino it helps to understand how it works in an HVAC unit so that's why I've kind of set up this little rig here um, to uh, simulate an HVAC unit um, first I've got this uh, step down transformer right here. It's a uh, model number EP4031F and it's stepping down the house 120 volt AC down to 24 volts. This particular model you can have multiple inputs on the primary side as long as you hook the corresponding wires to um, the right places. Um, it tells you exactly where to hook them up. So in your HVAC unit, uh, you would have 240 volts AC being stepped down to 224. So once it's stepped down, um, the hot side goes to a switch. This uh, switch here is simulating the thermostat of your HVAC unit. A thermostat is essentially just a temperature regulated switch. From there, it goes to the coil of your contactor here. So we got the hot and the neutral going to the coil. So when this is energized in your HVAC unit, it makes a connection between these two terminals and that turns on different components. Let's say, for, for example, it turns on the compressor of your AC. And this is a two pole contactor. So you could have um, different components turning on from this terminal and different ones from this terminal. So let's test this out. I put my multimeter here in uh, continuity mode. So initially with the switch off, we should have no continuity on the terminals of the con contactor. There's no continuity. So we'll go ahead and turn the switch on. We should hear a click after the, that's the contacts making contact with each other after the coil has been energized. There's a click. So now we should have continuity on those terminals. Continuity there. Continuity there. All right, to control this contactor with a Arduino, it's fairly simple. Um, all you have to do is replace the toggle switch with this five volt relay module. Essentially, the two wires that were connected to the switch are now connected to the common and the normally open contacts of the module. Um, if you're familiar with Arduinos, um, you're probably familiar with this module here. So essentially, we're just using it to switch the 24 volt AC voltage on and off. Uh, then the module is just set as an output of the relay and the input doesn't matter. Um, here I'm just using an ultrasonic sensor um, but you could use any sort of sensor you like. Um, to wire the contactor is very simple. I just have the 120 volts AC going in to one side and coming out the other. So it's essentially it's just a switch that's being controlled by the the um, 24 volt AC coil, which is again controlled by the 5 volt relay module. From there, I've just hooked up a couple of appliances to this power strip right here, and I have this uh, work light and my uh, shop vac hooked up. A little bit of a home alone um, contraption going here, but uh, it's just just for demonstration purposes. So uh, I've programmed the Arduino in, so that 
Uh, when I'm 20 centimeters away from this ultrasonic sensor, um, it should uh, trigger the five volt relay. So let's give that a shot. Then after five seconds, it should automatically turn off. All right, so that's how you would control multiple appliances or a single appliance that has a high current draw or uses a lot of power using a Arduino. All right, so I'm going to uh, demonstrate this uh, again. Um, this time I'll be taking a measurement of the current just to demonstrate uh, how much power these two appliances are drawing and how we're safely controlling them by using this contractor. Here we go. So that if we weren't using the contactor, that would be at the absolute limit of what the rated current is for this. So it's much safer to use the contactor.